No one wants their cruise to come to an end, but when it does, I've got eight reasons why you want to get off the cruise ship as soon as possible up next. Hey everyone, it's Matt from RealCaribbeanBlog.com. There is no worse feeling than that morning when you wake up probably tired and upset because of course you realize the cruise is over and now you must go home. There's maybe time for a quick snack, but that's about it. And the cruise is over, vacation's over, reality setting back in. Ah! So doesn't that lead you to think maybe you should try to stay on board the ship for as long as possible to delay the inevitable? Actually, I think that's a mistake. While shortening your time on a Royal Caribbean cruise may sound unappealing, the truth is that by disembarking just an hour or two earlier than other people, you can reap a wide range of benefits. Number one, let's start off with well, how early can you actually get off a cruise ship? Before explaining the reasons why you should disembark your cruise early, you should have a basic understanding of how Royal Caribbean's disembarkation process works. You have two options for disembarkation, self-disembarkation or using the luggage tags. Self-disembarkation is when you carry your luggage, all your luggage, off the ship with you. By transporting your own luggage off the ship, you have the freedom to leave whenever you want. This works well for people who packed light or who don't mind lugging suitcases off the ship, down the gangway, and through the cruise terminal. Self-disembarkation is also a really good option for anybody who wants as much flexibility as possible when leaving the ship. If you booked an early flight, you may prefer to disembark your ship as soon as the gangway opens instead of waiting for your luggage tag number to be called. Now, if you opt not to do self-assist disembarkation, you should adhere to the disembarkation time on your cabin's luggage tag number. Near the end of the cruise, luggage tags will be delivered to your cabin. Each of these tags has a number and a circle which coincides with the time in which your luggage will be ready for you in the cruise terminal. If you don't like that time they're given to you through the luggage tag, you can always change your luggage tag number to the time that works best for you. All you have to do is go to guest services and ask for a different luggage tag. It's not really a big deal at all. So now we have that figured out. Here are eight reasons why you should get off the ship as early as possible on disembarkation day. Number one, there's nothing to do on the last morning. Although Royal Caribbean cruise ships are packed with activities and entertainment, you'll be hard pressed to find anything interesting to do on disembarkation day. With such short turnaround times between cruises, there's no time for activities like water slides, trivia, and production shows. Truthfully, there's a rush atmosphere on board on that final morning. If you're suntanning on the pool deck at 9 a.m., you might get a few strange looks from crew members, not to mention the fact those same crew members are gonna be cleaning up and moving stuff around you. While there are no activities offered on disembarkation day, select breakfast venues, including the Windjammer and the main dining room are indeed open. So it's not a bad idea to grab a quick breakfast before getting off the ship as early as you can. Number two, getting off early means you'll avoid the lines to leave the ship. While you won't usually encounter exceptionally long lines to disembark your cruise ship, it's best to avoid waiting in lines whenever possible. More often than not, the earlier you try to disembark your ship, the shorter of a line you'll experience. Not only will you avoid a long line just to leave the ship, but you won't have to wait as long to have your passport and documents checked in the terminal. Next reason to get off the ship as early as possible is to get taxis and Ubers more quickly than other people. In addition to the lines in the cruise terminal, disembarking your ship early means you'll spend far less time waiting in line for transportation to the airport. With thousands of passengers leaving the cruise port at the same time, disembarkation day can be a bit hectic. Taxis and rideshares see high demand all at once, and unfortunately, many people end up waiting longer than they'd like for a ride to the airport. By getting off your ship as early as possible on that final day, you can be among the first to call for Uber or Lyft, and it's unlikely that there'll be any wait at the taxi line. Next, a really good reason to get off the ship early is to beat the traffic in the parking garage. If you drove to the cruise port, well, you don't want to get held up at the parking garage on that final day. It's typical for long lines of cars to form as thousands of other passengers try to exit the parking garage all at once. Nobody enjoys waiting in their car when they could be on their way home. So by getting off your ship as early as possible on disembarkation day, you can be among the first to get out of the parking garage. Another really good reason that makes sense to get off the ship early is to get home earlier if you're driving. If you're driving to the port, the earlier you disembark your cruise ship, the earlier you can hit the road, and that means you'll get home sooner. It's always hard to relax knowing there's a long drive ahead of you. Getting home earlier means you can start to unpack and relax, even if it means you're no longer on a cruise ship. My recommendation is to wake up early, grab a takeaway coffee and pastry from Cafe Promenade, and then hit the road before most other people have made it to breakfast. Of course, another really obvious reason to get off the ship early is more time to make a flight. We've all seen frantic, disheveled passengers sprinting through an airport terminal in order to make their flight on time. Many of us, in fact, have been those exact passengers ourselves. I know I'm guilty of that. By disembarking your cruise ship as early as possible, you give yourself more time to make a flight. 
As a rule of thumb, I recommend booking flights no earlier than noon on disembarkation day for most ports, but the exact time can vary from airport to airport. If you're flying from Fort Lauderdale, which is only five minutes away from the Port Everglades cruise port, you will, more than likely, be able to make an 11 a.m. flight with little rush because the airport and Port Everglades are literally next to each other. Making a noon flight from Venice, Italy, when your cruise ends in Ravenna, would be much more stressful because the cruise port is over two hours away from the airport. As long as you don't book a flight too early, disembarking your cruise ship as early as possible will give you enough time to make your flight and account for any unexpected delays. Speaking of the airport, another reason to get your ship early is to account for security lines at the airport. Many small regional airports at home almost never have a line of security, but the same can't be said about airports near popular cruise ports. Many of the world's busiest cruise ports are located near the world's busiest airports. Whether we're talking about LA, Miami, or Orlando, you might encounter longer than anticipated lines of security. If you don't have TSA pre-check or an alternative priority security screening like Clear, you want to make sure you arrive at the airport with plenty of time before your flight. There's nothing more stressful than rushing to the airport only to find a super long security line, and that might lead you to miss your flight altogether. Another reason, speaking of flying, to get off your ship early is if you're flying standby on an earlier flight. As an example, our cruise editor Jenna disembarked Symphony of the Seas earlier this year, and she was off the ship by 7.45 a.m. Her flight, however, didn't depart Miami until 12.30 p.m., and to be honest, she says she was dreading waiting around the airport for several hours. On route to the airport, she opened her American Airlines app and realized she could fly standby on an earlier flight at 9 a.m. to make a connection in L.A. Now, she never would have booked this flight outright as it left very little time to get to the airport and go through security after disembarking. But as a standby passenger, she could attempt to make the earlier flight with no risk of missing the flight later in the day. To her surprise, she was able to fly in both flights from Miami and the connecting flight home as a standby passenger, and she was home over five hours earlier than she would have been on the initial itinerary. Of course, as she dilly-daddled around the cruise ship for another hour before disembarking, she never would have made that standby flight at 9 a.m. So, it's possible, maybe not likely, but possible, something like this could happen to you, and these are good reasons to get off the cruise ship. Ultimately, I gotta be honest with you, there's just not much going on. They want you out of your cabin by about 8 a.m., and as I mentioned earlier in this video, there's really nothing to do. In cases in which I said, I'm going to stay on board as long as I can, I literally would find a chair somewhere on a pool deck or maybe on the promenade, and i just sit there. And it's boring, and all the whole time all you're thinking is the cruise is over, and I'm just going to sit here and belabor it for another couple of minutes. There's no point. I think you're just better off ripping the Band-Aid off, so to speak, and getting off the ship as early as you can. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with me or disagree with me about getting off the ship as early as possible. Can't wait to see your comments down there below. While you're below our video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and smash that like button. and hit that little bell icon because, of course, that lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when we have a brand new video to share. This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. We'll talk again real soon.